Hi, in the last video, we discussed about code layout. In this video, we are going to discuss about the comments. Python enhancement proposals, fourth major com component is comments. There are three major comments that we need to discuss with. One is block comments, another one is inline comments, another one is documentation comments. Now, before I go to the uh, demonstration of the block comments, let me give you a, a Zen of Python code. You can just use a statement called import and use a, this statement and enter. You will get to know the Zen of Python, which, were, which was written by Tim Peters. You can see that beautiful is better than ugly and explicit is better than implicit. So these statements actually refer to the uh, readability of your code. The most important uh, line uh, that you have to look here is, if the implementation is hard to explain, it is a bad idea. If the implementation is easy to explain, it may be a good idea. So we need to switch over to these statements because comments will help you to explain your imp implementation so that it gives you as a good idea of your code. If your code can't be explained well, then obviously it's a bad idea. So we need to ensure our code has a better commenting section so that your code can be highly readable as well. So now let it gets into the uh, block comments. Now looking at the block comments, how a block comment will look like. Let's clear, create a for loop here. I'm declaring a variable called xn and uh, uh, in the specific range of uh, 0 to 10. So this is a specific for loop condition. Uh, here I'm going to define the block for the for loop. And here I'm going to refer a block saying this is going to loop for 10 times. Now if you see the hash symbol is used to represent comments in Python. Now, when you start with the commenting lines, you need to have a single space here. Okay. After the hash symbol, you need to have a single space. More importantly, your comment also starts with the proper indentation. You can see that there is a four space of indentation is observed. And you also have a single space between the hash key, uh, hash key and your line of uh, commenting statement. Now block comments will have multiple uh, hash statements uh, used for looping the given range of values. And I'm going to have one more uh, comment and say uh, also to print some value. So now if you look at it, this becomes a block of comments, right? In Java, we call it as a multi-line comments, okay? Now, there in the multi-line comments, we will use slash, asterisk, 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 and then end with a slash. So that represents your uh, multi-line uh, uh, comments. But here, you will use individual hash, and you will have a space between the hash and the start of your commenting line. Then you can go ahead with writing your own statements that whatever you want to print. Let's say I want to print I. So I can, I'm sorry, I want to print X, I can print X as well here. If I execute this, you get the output like this. Now, if you notice, comments are not getting displayed because comments are not uh, uh, compiled or interpreted or executed. It's just for the readability of that particular operation. Why we use comments is to give the clarity for the developer to read and understand what this particular block is meant for. So block comments is nothing but you will have multiple line of comments grouped together and call it as a block comments. This is for for loop block so that it is called as a block comments. Your block comments will not be written before the loop. It will be written inside the loop immediately next to the loop. For example, I might have a class block class called employee and immediately in the next line is where you will start your uh, block comments for class block. So this is a class block 
comments. You can have multiple uh, line of commenting sections. So line two comments and then line three comments and then you can make this class to be left empty by using a pass keyword. Now if you notice here this is called as your block comments where you have multiple uh, lines of comments. Uh, every line is started with a hash. Hash always denotes a comments in Python. I'm stressing again and again here hash is for the representation of a comments in Python and when you start a line of the comments the hash and the starting line of comment should have a single space. Indentation have to be followed. You can't just write it like this. So if you do so, you will get an output, but this doesn't contribute for a better readability, right? We don't fall under the category category of this uh, the Zen of Python. So please go ahead and read these the Zen of Python. You will get to know more understanding of why they came up with the proposal of uh, Python enhancement proposal. Okay. The next step, uh, uh, comments is all about inline comments. So what is that inline comments is pretty simple to understand. You declare a variable like age and I'm assigning a value as 10 and immediately I'll be giving some two spaces and then start with hash, give one line, uh, I'm sorry, one space and then say it's uh, kid's age. Inline to your uh, statement itself. Okay, next to the line of that statement you will start your comment so that it is called as an inline comment. Let's take another example. I declare a name and define it as Sabari Balaji and I'm going to give a couple of spaces start with hash key and then give a single space and then say trainer name. So now what happens here is we are actually trying to provide an inline comments to your uh, line of statement. But usage of inline comments should be sparingly used. You can't use this inline comments frequently because every line, you have some thousand lines in your program. You can't write thousand comments, keeping in mind that it's an inline comment so that I go ahead and write inline comments in my every line. Practically not required. If that line really in need of some explanation for the, uh, for the uh, third, de third developer, then obviously you need to go ahead and write an inline comment. Otherwise, you need not write inline comments for every individual line that you write in your Python code. Now coming to the third type of comments is all about the documentation comments. Even we have this in Java, you can also create a documentation comments. The documentation comments will be slightly different. For example, let's say you can create a documentation comments for your function, for your class, right? So I'm declaring a function called uh, calculate underscore mean. I continue with the same us usage of the function names here as well. Uh, the name of the function uh, is calculate mean median, which follows the uh, snake case separated with underscore. I'm recalling that again here. Now I'm not going to leave this function empty. Rather, I'm going to provide some, uh, uh, some commenting section for this uh, function but this time it's going to be a documentation comments so I can use triple uh, single quotes okay uh, and you will separate them like this so starting three uh, single quotes and at the end three single quotes it can be replaced with double quotes also three double quotes you can use it I'll explain that so here the documentation comments are written okay so you can write as many number of lines of comments here okay multiple lines you can write and so it is considered as your uh, d uh, documentation comments if you want to replace this with the double quotes yes you can go ahead but you should have three double quotes at the starting and at the end you should have three double quotes okay now if i want to read this comment somewhere at the runtime later because i don't know what this function is meant for how a developer can track this comments is you can use a print statement and uh, call this function uh, here and it has a magical uh, variable this every function will have its magical variable called dunder doc this is a, 
a magical variable uh, enforced in every function and uh, class where it will help you to capture your documentation of that function alone. So somewhere you came to know about this function name but you don't know what this function is meant for, you wanted to understand this function's uh, functionality, then obviously you need to look out for the documentation. So you don't have the source code here but you can capture the documentation of that function by using a dunder magical variable called underscore underscore doc and then underscore underscore prefix and suffix with double underscore so that it is called as a dunder variable double underscore dunder okay calculate mean median dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore will help you to capture the exact documentation that you have written inside this i might have a statement here saying print high but that will not be printed these are programmatical statements not a documentational statements so if i execute you only capture the uh, documents of that particular function okay so if in case you want to define that function again with a uh, double quotes you can still go ahead and do it now with double quotes three double quotes okay you get a document and say this is also and uh, this is also a documentation comments as simple as that so when you are going for documentation comments you have the liberty to write as many number of lines of code but keep in mind that comments will also follow the standards of uh, indentation but if you don't follow uh, it won't throw an error but it's ideally good to follow the indentation pattern for the co for the comments as well so that uh, it's highly readable so to summarize in this video we captured the zen of python by using import this statement which gets the complete uh, uh, Zen of Python and uh, in that the comments are focused in making your code to be uh, explained well. So you have a block comments uh, where you will write a block of comments inside your, uh, 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 inside your for loop or inside a class. Typically inside a class we write uh, documentation comments, right? There's no need for writing a, a block comments but in, 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 a, in a place like for loop it's better to have a, a block comments. Then you have inline comments where you write the comments uh, immediate to the line of the statement itself. So it's in line to your particular line of statement. It's called as an inline comments, but it has to be used sparingly. And coming to the documentation comments, you have two variants of documentation comments representation. One is the single code pattern of documentation, three single code at the beginning and three single code at the end. And or, I'm sorry, not and, or you can use three double quotes uh, in the beginning and three double quotes at the end which also represents the same of uh, documentation comments. You can extract the documentation comments with the help of a double underscore uh, doc variable which is called as a dunder variable or a magical variable. Okay, dunder variable, dunder, double underscore dunder variable. It is a magical variable. So with this you uh, get the capturing of the exact uh, documentation and you get to know what is the purpose of this function is all about.